Hello, this is Craig, and Anthony writes in on my Fusion 360 uh, swing arm video. He said he had a hard time following how I did the parameters, and that is a fair criticism. I did cut that out of my video when I posted it, um, because I thought it was, it was pretty long and tedious. But he said, I have no idea what you're doing. So I'm going to go ahead and do that really quickly here for you as a uh, courtesy to show you how to use Fusion, because having parameter driven design is the way you want to think about doing things because if you have a change in your design you can just change a number and the whole design changes so let's switch over to fusion 360 um i'm going to go ahead and start the design again so i have a new new uh new design going and the first thing we're going to do is over here under modify is uh how you change parameters and this is also control p and if you wanted this to be up in your uh toolbar you could just say pin the toolbar and then it shows up up here so we'll just put it up there for now get this over here and we'll just start adding in some parameters and you'll notice that uh, it, this parameter defaulted to be millimeters so let's first uh, we want this design to be in inches so we'll come over here to document settings click on that the guy there and change this down to inches and you can set it as default here, but I normally work in millimeters. But in this design, we're going to work in inches. So we're going to come over here. Well, now, now this default unit is in inches. Now the unit is important. We'll show you why that is when we talk about the crest percentage. Well, we'll first start with doing width. And you come down and enter an expression. And I think we had 12 there. You could also talk. You also put a comment down here. Next one was the length. And it's also in inches. And I think our length that we made was 20 inches. It doesn't matter what these values are. We're just naming things here. Height is in inches. We'll make that, uh, say we'll make that six. Um, bearing diameter. Now you notice you can't put a space in your in your parameters. There's, it won't tolerate spaces. But you can do camel cases, camel cases. So bearing diameter is in inches. Um, would you put, here's an interesting thing. We can change this over to a different uh, unit of length. So we can put some of these in in metric as well as putting them in uh, uh, English units. So that's something that's, uh, that's fairly interesting to know but we'll see we make our bearing diameter two inches um, what was the last let me see what was the next one we had the edge offset the edge offset was uh, three so you see where I'm going with this and if you need to delete something that you put in here you just hit this X um, let me see the next one was the stock thickness stock thickness in this case we were using eighth inch and you can also put in an expression not just a value so we can put in one eighth and it'll calculate 0 0.125 but something interesting happens here i want to show you so if you hit uh the okay there it says one eighth times one inch so by doing it this way what it ends up doing is it uh is creating its own dimension um, it's creating its own expression and multiplying it times one inch so this whole this whole uh, result has a unit to it all right here we'll talk we'll do the crest uh, percentage next so we have crest percentage and actually on crest percentage what we really want for crest percentage is we want it to result in a number not a length we want it to be a number a unitless number this is an important thing because if you if you multiply inches because when these expressions are calculated in fusion um, <clears throat> you want the resulting uh, answer of the evaluation of the expression to be in the right units so if you multiply inches times inches you're going to get inch squared and that may not be what you want but in this case we want crest percentage to be unitless 
So under unit, you can say no units. And we're not going to actually put in the, the uh, percent sign in here. All percent means is it's divided by 100. Um, so 55 <clears throat> percent, uh, the uh, the decimal equivalent of 55 percent is 0.55. So we'll just put in 0.55 here for the crash percentage. Um, and did I have any more? I had rib spacing. All right, so you know where we're going. You kind of see where we're going with this. And I think rib spacing was, what did I set the rib spacing to? 2.5 inches. Here's some additional things that you can do. Um, you can uh, you put expressions, uh, mathematical expressions in here as well. So let's say that we wanted to calculate some, uh, some uh, angles. So let's say we wanted to calculate an angle. So let's say we, uh, uh, L, Let's call it uh, let's call it length <clears throat> over width. Can't type this morning. <laughs> um, and this is actually we're going to come down here, and it's going to be an angle in degrees. And these uh, these could be math. These are can be mathematical expressions. So we can make this equal to um, uh, arc tangent of of uh, length over width and you see it went from red to black which means that this is a legitimate expression so length over width uh, take the arc tangent of that it, if you remember your trig this comes out to be 55 59 degrees so these these uh, expressions in parameters can have can be functions of other parameters that you have set so let's go see this in action. We'll create a sketch on this plane here. And we'll do a rectangle. And at this point, you can put in a, you can put in a, you can put a number uh, where it says five, you can put a number in there. You can also put an expression in there. So let's say that this was length. And if you just start typing, it'll do length. And if you hit the tab, over here we're going to be uh, this is the uh, stock thickness and it's way bigger than our drawing here so we'll come down and say fit and now it should be on the page now here's that here's where you use an angle say you wanted a, a line off of this here and i want this line to be i don't know let's say that i want this line to be um uh length times the crest percentage and you see that's unitless so that you're going to have an inch times a unitless is going to be still in inches so that's that there and then you can tab over to this one and we can make this that angle which we made uh what do we call that length length over width degrees so that's that is uh that's how you use the parameters in you when you set your dimensions up. You can also click on these and you'll see that the expression is right here. And um, so while we're in the while we're in the sketch uh, workspace, um, you can come over here and go to change um, parameters again, and you can change these while you're editing your sketch. So let's say my length is not uh, 20. Let's say we make it 15. And you'll see that all the everything in the design actually changed behind the scenes here. Let's make our design a little bit smaller. Let's, let's change this back to 20 and you'll see the design change as I uh, exit out of this field right here. So that's how you use that here. <clears throat> There's one more thing I want to show you. Say I had a, a uh, so yeah, I, I had a length here, and, and I set a dimension on this one. Even though the, the, my document units are in inches, I can put in millimeters. I can put in other, I can put in other units right here. Like say, instead of inches, I wanted this to be specified in feet. So let's say I wanted it to be 1.5 feet. 
and it changes this over to the current unit of the of the uh, drawing of the design and if you click on this again it will have in what your what unit you typed in even though it displays 18 itself um, that works the same for uh, other other units as well so say say I had a diameter here and we're we are going to put a dimension on it of um, so we we, we want to make it uh, we want to make it 1.5 inches and it figures that out as it was it oh, I put the bearing diameter in there right, let's make this uh, 3.5 inches so that's in 3.5 inches uh, and we can make this in millimeters as well so, so it's 25 point let's say it's a 30 millimeter diameter hole and it changed it over to the uh, showed the units in inches here So I hope that answers your question. Um, I apologize for cutting that out of the video. The video was getting pretty long, so I went ahead and cut that out where I entered in the parameters. But you made a fair criticism, and in the future, if I'm showing things like this, I will include that and just uh, have the, the viewer skip that if they kind of know how to do that, those type of topics in Fusion. All right, well, thanks for watching.